back at it again, working on the vet, getting ready to uh, recharge the battery again because like I said, it has that little electrical problem. I need to go up under the car and clean the ground wires, clean the, uh, I think the ground wires it is for the, in the back by the battery and the front and the frame, I believe. Clean those off real good and I shouldn't have that battery drainage problem anymore. And I'm also gonna check the fuel pump today and make sure everything's good with that. If you look over here, you'll see Pops and put the feet back on the whip. They look pretty clean, man, they're low on hearts. Yeah, I think that's what they call low and hearts. Yeah, low and hearts. Pretty nice wheels. Nice big lip on it. No, about that big. Pretty nice though, man. I like the way it looks when uh, I like the way it looks much better with that so it can kind of match the uh, side. And the top right there. But yeah, man, it looks much, much better with those wheels back on it. He took them off. He didn't really like the look when he first got the car with them, but he changed his mind. And it really makes those red brake calipers and the slotted rotors pop a little bit more if you ask me. But yeah. Put the rims back on the car, looks much better. Just look how fat these back tires are. I mean, how wide they are. See that? It's a pretty big boy. Pretty big boy. So, yeah, that's what he did. Oh, no, got flat. Yep. Yeah. What do you guys think? Look, what do you guys think about it? Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this car with the rims on it. Does it look better? look worse let me hear your opinion so drop a comment below let me know what you think like I said I think it looks way better like night and day but that's just me and the front lip is not as big as the back of course that's, it looks better that way it's about that deep and the back as I showed you before is about that deep so pretty big difference I like it though but back to this so let's get the battery out Take the battery out of there. Take it to uh, AutoZone, have them charge up for about a good hour. Come back, throw it in, check the fuel pump, and see if I need to go buy a new one. So let's do it. Voila, done. I'm gonna take it to get charged up here. I'm gonna take Pop's car since he's not here at the golf course. So Put that down there. Let's do it. All right, so I'm in the SL Cool taking the uh, battery to get charged. It's a pretty hot day here in Florida. As you can see, I'm sweating a little bit. Got the AC pumping, need to turn up a little bit more. Golly, it's hot. Woo! Well, Florida ain't no jump when it comes to this heat, man. I'm trying to tell you, if, you, if you're not from Florida, don't take it light. You better have your bottle of water at all times, or else you might end up in the ER with me taking care of you. In there said, Come on, the guy in there said it should only take about 40 minutes. That's still a long time to have to waste 40 minutes, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I might just go to my uh, my parents' house and just relax. Let's get a quick pull though. Oh, I love that sound. That's crazy. This car picks up speed so fast. <laughs> I can just imagine what New Zero One feels like. I know later on I'm gonna go play basketball if I'm done. Uh, I, got a, I got a friend down here. We've been talking about playing ball together for a little bit now. So now that I got some time off this week, I'm gonna handle the situation with the vet real fast. Uh, get, like I said, wait till the battery charges up and see what the fuel pump's issue is. See if it really is the fuel pump or if I just need to, you know, get the carburetor uh, dealt with a little bit more. But all right, let's go. Oh, oh. Back with the battery, as you can see.
so I got the battery put back in and I don't think the fuel pump is any good. There's no fuel coming through this gas line. I took it off a couple minutes ago. Nothing was pumping out. It's this line right here. Nothing was pumping out. I'll just put it back on. Nothing was pumping out. Um, as you can see, there's no gas even coming in this gas filter right here. So I'm just going to give it a couple more tries, pour some gas in the carburetor, and see if I can get it to start up just by luck, by some type of luck. Even though I'm pretty sure it's not going to happen, but won't hurt to try again. Just a little bit. You don't want to flood it. That's enough. Let's see. Put this back on. Well, looks like I need a new fuel pump. So that's next on the list. I'll go to the Corvette shop tomorrow and pick one up. So next video you guys are going to see is getting a fuel pump put on this car. Let's just put the T-tops back on and call it a day. You know, it's funny. I'm pretty sure one of these T-tops is heavier than the new Target tops in the back. Well, from what happened earlier, looks like I need a new fuel pump, baby. So the next video, you're going to see me going to the Corvette shop, getting a brand new fuel pump. I mean, what can I say? It's a process, man. It's not It's not overnight. This st stuff like this doesn't happen overnight. So like I said, it's a process. Hey, I'm happy. Like I said, I'm just getting closer and closer to putting my baby back on the road, baby. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that thumbs up button for me. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me, too. Because if you didn't, you're just missing out, to be honest with you. So... See you guys next video. I'm out.